So the lichen comes equipped with a bunch of stuff inside, you know, inverter, solar charge controller, batteries. It has two 48 volt, 50 amp hour batteries. So that is about 5,000 watts inside, which is really nice. But if you want to increase um, the amount of battery, you can do that. You can add up to six more batteries if you want to for a total of eight batteries. That's not really necessary for a lot of things, but if you want to just make sure that you have more power, um, if you have a couple cloudy days, if you are relying on this and what if, you know, there's no sun coming in and you want to just have more to draw from, uh, then additional batteries is really nice. So we have two more batteries on top here. So currently this is almost 10,000 watt hours in here. Um, now let's go over how do you do that? How do you put more batteries onto this unit? Well, first of all, you need batteries, right? Then you need wire. This is a four gauge wire, stranded wire. So it's really thick stuff. You need Anderson connectors and I'm gonna go over how to put together an Anderson connection. Um, and in order to make Anderson connectors, you need a couple of things for that as well. So we're gonna use propane, flux, plumber's solder. <laughs> I recommend having some sort of ice. Now to make the connections, I've got this little Anderson connection kit right here. Comes with two of these. So this is what you connect right here. This is for a handle. Um, if you need to pull them out, we're not gonna be using it. Um, this is like a little cap close it. Now you could crimp this connection, uh, but I'm going to solder it because it's just going to provide a, a more permanent solution. Um, it's going to be more durable. Now the interesting connection here, this is made for really heavy duty stuff, like a lot of power coming through here. This is a Renogy wire. Um, it's this size. It has this uh, like lug connection for the battery on the one side and just like nothing on the other side. And I'm gonna put some flux on this side. Basically the flux will clean it and make sure that it connects well. I'll put a link in the description to everything that I am using, you know, what specific wire, uh, you know, propane, Anderson connection, all of that stuff. So the idea with these Anderson connection is basically I need to attach this onto the wire and then you, cr you connect that to this guy. And then you have this really solid, stable connection that you can uh, plug into the lichen. Okay. That's melting, that's why I stopped. Got a little solder uh, on here. So I'm gonna reheat this and get the solder off. So this is the uh, connection I just put on right here. This is gonna go inside here. Now, inside here, there's like a little thing here. And when you push, when you push this in, it depresses this wire right here. So once I stick it in here, uh, that's it. You can't get it out. So <laughs> click. And there we go. Okay, so these are marked plus and negative, plus and minus. I just put this one in the positive. So I'm gonna put some white tape to indicate that this is the positive one. Yeah, I wanna make sure I do it to the other side too, so that you know which one's positive and which one's negative. Of course, you could use a, a red wire too. I just have black here right now. Okay, let's put in the second one. So again, you have to make sure you do it. The bumpy part goes up in the bumpy thing. So let me push that in and click. And these are both in there now and they're not coming out. So now I can put this guy in the lichen um, and connect these to my batteries. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure of <laughs> is that your wires, these two wires need to be the same length because you don't want there to be a difference in distance between the wires when Everything is moving. It can become like an uneven charging then. Of course, uh, soldering is uh, like 
you know, great because um, if you're crimping it, I mean, you can crimp it, but it might distort it a little bit and you might like make it kind of weird. Um, plus it's not gonna be as strong. Solder is gonna be a lot stronger. Okay, so here you can see where the Anderson connection uh, plugs in right there. We, of course, we have the, the white, which is the plus, uh, black, which is the negative. Here's the cap part that when you have this, when you don't have this attached, you keep this on there. And then we follow the lines. So we have them attached one to the positive, or one to the negative, and one to the positive. Okay, now we have the batteries connected in parallel. So minus to minus, positive to positive. Then we have the ethernet cable here connect to the batteries. This cable right here goes down to connect there, which in turn connects to the units inside the system. You need to connect these specific batteries to this. You don't want to mix brands and models and things like this. You want to use the same type of batteries so that you won't have any problems. You do not want to connect them in series. It's funny, you read the manual, catastrophic failure, <laughs> connect them in series. You don't want to do that. One thing that's kind of nice with the idea of adding more batteries is that the, uh, the more batteries you have, the less load each battery will operate under, which means that you're increasing the longevity of each battery. They will last longer. I t uh, usually don't draw more than 1500 watts in the shop if I have the heater on and the lights and a bunch of things like that. Now, if you take 1500 watts and you divide it uh, with 44, 48 volt, you get 31.25 amps. Um, so that's how much you would draw if you would have one battery hooked up. However, if we have four batteries hooked up, then we would divide that by four, and each battery would, you know, draw 7.8 amps, which is a big difference from 31.25. So the load, the draw on each battery will be much lower. So they won't go down as far, they won't be you know, as much extreme charging, which is much better for LiPo 4 batteries. When you are connecting uh, new batteries, you want to make sure that all the batteries have similar state. You want to make sure that like, the batteries in here are not like completely depleted and then you're putting in you know, full charged batteries, because that can create these rushes of current and you don't want that. Uh, so you want them to be pretty even. Of course, it's hard to set exactly, you know, the even, but pretty even. 